Morning, welcome back. Have you noticed the recent shift in the world where everything is shrinking? Bags of chips that used to be 50% air are now 70% air. Full sets of chocolate teeth only come in every other tooth now. Consider yourself lucky if you get one full serving of chicken in your burrito bowl without them shaking the scoop until there's only three pieces left. I know celebrities and their waistlines have been shrinking, but when did our groceries start taking Ozempic? And the most concerning of all is our faces. Why is this happening? What do I tell my family doctor? Quick, check your head. Is it still the same size as yesterday? Check on your peers too. I'm scared for the day when everyone in class looks like they have a permanent beauty filter on. And this is why we don't kiss kiss fall in love in real life. Anime characters, you stay in your 2D world, especially this killing stalking lookalike. So where are people's jaw bones and buckle fat running off to? If you didn't give your face bones to a dog, we can look for it together. It's another beauty standard manifesting itself into our everyday lives. You might miss it if you're not taking daily measurements of someone's face. Achieving your desired head size is a choose your own adventure nowadays. Google will show you at least 55 exercises, 55 cosmetic procedures, and 50 five beauty filters you can use to shrink your noggin. And there is science behind wanting a smaller face to fit into beauty standards. It's not our usual social media beauty psychosis kicking in again. You can actually see how changing your face shape can play a role into making you look more conventionally attractive. And on the other end of the spectrum, people are going too far and gua shying too hard until they became an anime otosan. Some of us are reverting back to the head we had as a toddler. I'm not sure why we're so set on changing our facial features until we've crossed over into the uncanny valley. In 2060, our brains are going to be vacuum sealed if we keep shrinking our heads. Is this why we're all having such a hard time concentrating nowadays? I started off the year pretty strong, but it feels like my productivity went on maternity leave and then quit. We're all in dire need of a mental reset. But thanks to our sponsor Skillshare, they have a class taught by Thomas Frank. Productivity for creatives build a system that brings out your best. That does exactly that. Burnout is a term that's been on the rise lately, and it tends to happen to content creators quite often. The most useful advice I got from this class was to think of my inspiration as a muscle. The more you use it, the easier it'll be to access your creativity skill when the time calls. Plus, tips on changing your mindset about how to approach work, and inspiring me to clean up my workspace. Now I have nice things to look at when I'm stuck on a computer all day. I think I'll be checking out Skillshare's Craft Your Space Learning Path next, a series of classes meant to be taken in order to get you from beginner to pro. If you're planning on investing on yourself this year, joining one of the largest learning communities doesn't sound half bad. Take your skills, career, and side hustle to the next level by learning from thousands of classes taught by people who are masters in their craft. Film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, the list goes on. I started my YouTube channel a decade ago with the bare minimum. No thoughts, just film on potato, then post. Ever since then, I've I've taken Skillshare classes on editing, color grading, how to properly set up lighting, and productivity classes that help me set up systems to avoid burning out. It's cool how these content creation tips I learned years ago are still useful to this day. Who wouldn't want to learn things to make their life easier? The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today. The correlation we have with being skinny and being conventionally attractive still exists to this day. While we are embracing a lot more body types and seeing a lot more representation for different types of body builds, being lean, toned, with a thin waist is still the beauty standard a lot of people want to achieve. The rise of everyone and their dog suddenly using Ozempic isn't that surprising. We've always been looking for that quick fix to shed a few pounds, and this is it. The gang's all here. We're on the new, skinny version of the Yellow Brick Road to see the Wizard of Oz, Zempic. Nice. With shrinking bodies comes smaller, youth-sized faces. A lot of internet users coined the term Ozempic face to describe the drastic change in facial appearance, where the person using the weight loss drug will look like a skinnier, evil twin of themselves from an alternate timeline. It might even look like they've gotten work done, which could be the case, you never know. But most likely, it's probably the change in facial harmony which is affecting the way their facial features look. When you lose weight, you're automatically going to have more definition in your face. The less round it becomes, the more you'll see a sharper jawline, more 
pronounced cheekbones, and a well-defined chin, these guests were always at the party. They were just hiding in the facial fat bathroom. According to the most common forms of beauty standards, these are traits that can signify good health and high class status, add really great facial symmetry to the mix, and you'll be on some list of top 10 most attractive faces. That's why looks maxing tutorials always stress the importance of mewing until we can see your jawline from a mile away. I think we're getting a little too obsessed when we're letting random apps tell us if we're hot or not. What kind of AI generated nonsense is this? If I stuck my dog's face in this app, it'll probably tell me he's rated 100. But maybe there's a tiny bit of truth to these measurements. Science says, if your face is proportionate to the rule of thirds, or comes close to fitting the golden ratio, you're considered aesthetically pleasing. And people with smaller faces tend to have an easier time accomplishing this. Dr. Chua Junjin, a plastic surgeon at Mount Elizabeth Medical Center, said that generally, a small face with prominent facial features is more attractive. In other words, if the eyes, nose, and lips occupy a larger proportion of the face, the more attractive the person looks. Timothy Chalamet, well known for his soft boy aura, love for peaches and clearly defined facial structure, many would say he's a pretty good looking guy. But recently his face went viral on TikTok. When people were speculating, he's caught something over the years. Timothy Chalamet has unfortunately fell victim to twink death syndrome. Which is when you gain some weight and finally reach the decrepit age of 24. Timothy Chalamet is now losing fans by the second because of this dumb reason. This week, several videos comparing photos of Timmy from 2021 to 2024 have gone viral on TikTok, many arguing that we are witnessing his twink death or glow down. Although most agree he looks exactly the same or at least a little bit healthier, others are trying to point out he appears to have gained weight, with some speculating he's gained between 10 to 50 pounds. This is supposed to be 50 pounds. Okay. Just because he doesn't have a permanent mewing smolder anymore doesn't mean he's undergone twink death just yet. He would definitely still fight for the center position when Super Lady by G Idol starts playing in the club. It's kind of insane how people jumped at the chance to call him unattractive after he gained a little bit of weight. There was even claims he gained at least 50 pounds. Which doesn't make sense. Where is it? Because I don't see it. Unless it all went to his thighs like when Squidward ate all those Krabby Patties. My thighs? He's still considered one of the most handsome actors in Hollywood right now, but it's an example of how smaller defined faces are always going to be more desired. You have a small eyes and bigger face. I don't like. When your face gets bigger, your facial features tend to appear smaller because there's more space to fill out. As someone who has to look at their own face all day while editing, even I could notice my facial features a lot more in old videos when I weighed less. Although I will say, I feel like I looked older back then compared to now. There is that double-edged sword of looking older than your age when you you have less facial fat. Why do you think babies look so young? other than the fact they're zero years old. With plumper faces, you develop wrinkles at a slower pace, and the entire structure of your face stays intact longer compared to your skinnier face counterparts. People on Ozempic can sometimes lose weight too fast and it ends up showing on their face, so they end up playing catch up with cosmetic procedures to put back the volume they lost. The first and most notable thing is hollowness in the mid face, right here. So if you're lucky and you have sizable cheekbones, you'll show it less but if you don't have a lot of cheekbones, you'll start to hollow right in the mid face and at the beginning you'll like it because it'll make you look less cheeky and more model-like and gaunt. But one more notch and now you're starting to look hollow right here. You note it most when you lean forward and you have this sort of emptiness. The next phase is hollowness under the eyes and then you'll start to see the marionetting and last but not least, you'll start to see some looseness around the neck. So what can we do about it? Well, obviously there's facial fillers and there's fat grafting. Those are probably the two most effective methods of treatment for this. And the reason why it happens is because people lose weight so fast that skin doesn't necessarily snap right back. It's like a never ending cycle of losing money to make yourself look normal again. You'll always be playing catch up for who knows how long, adjusting yourself until you finally fit into the beauty standard that's already hard to obtain unless you're born into it. That's why people will start to look strange when they overfill their faces with filler. You've upset the 
unnatural balance between your features and face size. It's like moving into a townhouse that's a thousand square feet with furniture meant for a 500 square feet condo. You also see this small face beauty standard within the idol industry. We're measuring your face size with everyday objects like CDs, a piece of food, and your fist. These are a series of tests to see if you fit the beauty standard. I always wanted to know if I could fit my face into a CD player. Oh, I'm so jealous. If anyone needs a big head to close up a hole in the wall left by a titan, I got you. <laughs> oh, that was foul. They classify this type of face as having zero face space, which rolls off the tongue so smoothly. I literally had to do 10 takes for that. When you have big eyes, small face, and other prominent facial features, all the empty space on your face is optimized and filled like an IKEA furniture store. Giselle from Espa has recently been getting a lot of praise for her change in visuals. The main thing people were noticing was her face size, and how it's less wide compared to when she was younger. Of course, aging, losing weight, changing up her style played a role in her new appearance, but even even from a few comebacks ago, she did have a noticeably wider face compared to what we're seeing now. But for Giselle specifically, um, there's a surgery called Toriokaki, which is basically like I, a lot of the people in the comments were saying that as well, like jaw reconstruction surgery, that's basically what Toriokaki is. And a lot of K-pop idols get this procedure because it makes your jaw basically like shrink down. It is like such a dangerous surgery to get and a lot of people really do not recommend like normal people to get this surgery unless you're like literally like an idol, literally like a celebrity, things like that. I've always wondered with these idols, where do the jaw bones go when they show up with a new face between comebacks? It's pretty fascinating how much of a difference it can make when you finally get a new stylist on me that doesn't hate you. What if I get hacked? Another big change she did was the hair. If you have a long face like me, then in order for us to balance that facial proportion, it's usually better for us to have either straight bands or side bands. So instead of keeping both sides of our hair really flat, you want to add more volume around these areas to make your mid face look wider. Giselle has a really pretty nose and having the bands covering up her forehead will help to draw attention to her nose. There's a beauty creator I saw on TikTok, I forgot her username, but basically she said, if you want to have a glow up mindset, then focus on your best feature and emphasize that instead of spending all your effort and energy into covering up or hiding your not so good features. We're not 100% sure if she actually got work done. Maybe she only changed her hair and makeup to a style that actually complements her facial proportions. But the prevalence of plastic surgery within the K-pop industry, it wouldn't be that surprising if she did get anything reshaped or shaved down. Objectively speaking, this is probably the best she's looked. Unless I'm just brainwashed from all the social media and K-pop I eat every day. At its core, there isn't anything wrong with getting plastic surgery surgery if it makes you more happier and confident in the long run. Except, when the beauty standards are basically impossible to achieve without going under the knife, it sets up these scary expectations for young people to get potentially life-altering procedures. Well, at least we have good old AI technology, the easiest way to change the size of your head without actually doing it. Thanks to the beauty filters baked into every social media app, we can now have natural looking big eye, small face, I like it, with a click of a button. Whoa. This is satire, right? Like some sort of Courage the Cowardly Dog cosplay? These beauty filters are meant to be used sparingly. Well, I haven't seen anyone else crank the face slimming, skin whitening, eye enhancing dial to 500, so that's good. <laughs> I am literally speechless. <laughs> if you do go the filter route, as long as you never go out in public, you'll be safe. But what are you gonna tell people when they see you in person and they start asking questions? Rightfully so. We're not even living on the moon yet. What are we doing adhering to alien beauty standards? Actually, aliens wish they looked this good. It's kind of impressive that she can use filters this aggressively in every single one of her TikToks. Hey, if you look the same in every video, then that becomes the new normal. Wonder what filters Uni Jasmine Boutique uses where it makes everything around her look like a wave pool. Guys, biar mata kelihatan bundar, gede. Pakai eyeliner putih di dalamnya, kelopak matanya. 
kemudian dipakaiin eyeliner hitam di bawahnya cleansing dulu muka aku oh my god pijit-pijit rambut aku kena Okay, great gowns, beautiful gowns. I've watched a handful of her TikToks and I've already accepted the fact that this is what she looks like. Trust me, I am also more confusing than you. This was the most natural video I could find where she doesn't use any filters. Or if she is, it's definitely a lot more natural looking. She's already got that V-shaped face and pale skin that fits the Asian beauty standard. Too much of a good thing is always bad. Like these filters are definitely overkill. <laughs> It could just be rage bait to get more views. I mean, fair enough. Look at this dum dum going down the rabbit hole of cutty Slenderman core. If you want to balance out your facial proportions, learning how to do makeup, getting the right haircut for your face shape, and exercising can do wonders. Not gonna judge if you do decide to use beauty filters on your photos. Just be prepared for questions like, which restaurant are you at? Never seen one with bending walls before. But you know who naturally has a small face shape? The YouTube algorithm. Probably because of the lack of jaw bones. And you can keep the bones from growing back by liking this video. Let's me know you enjoyed the content and I'll get to see you on your recommended the next time I post. Have a good day. Try not to be dumb and see you in the next one.